Hi, welcome to this section on adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators visually or using area models. So the first thing you would want to do is create area models based upon the denominators. So you can create, taking a look at the these denominators, five by fours or four by fives, it really doesn't matter. And taking a look at the subtraction, you can use four by threes or three by fours, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at this first fraction, three out of five, or three fifths. So this is telling us that we need to shade in three out of five sections. And we're going to do that vertically simply because we're, we have these five sections vertical, okay, going vertical. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to shade in three out of those five sections. Okay, and let's take a look at one quarter or one fourth. This time we're going to shade vertically, or I mean horizontally, because they're in four sections going horizontally. So we have one, two, three, four, right? So we're shading in one out of four horizontally. Okay, and so what we're going to do is take and look at this area model, and we're going to determine what this is as a fraction. So this is actually three, six, nine, twelve. 12. That's 12 out of 20 sections, because remember, five times four is 20, right? We have a total of five, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so that means the denominator here is also 20 in this section, uh, second fraction. All right, and there's a total of one, two, three, four, five. So that's five out of 20. So notice our denominators are the same. So that means we can keep the denominator of 20. And we're going to simply add across the numerators because 12 plus five is 17. So now here we have a third area model. All we're going to do is bring these together right? So we have a total of 3, 6, 9, 12, right? So we'll bring that here, over here. And then we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're going to bring those over here. So we have a total of 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so we have a total of 17 out of 20 shaded, all right? And just notice 3 fifths is equivalent to 12 twentieths and vice versa. The same thing with, with 1 fourths is equivalent to 5 twentieths, all right? So that means 3 fifths plus 1 fourth is 17 twentieths, okay? So now let's take a look at the subtraction. So we, here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to shade in three out of four sections. And we're going to do that vertically. Okay, so let's do that now. So that's three out of four. Okay, and then we are going to do the same thing with one third. This time we're doing that horizontally right? One out of three sections. Okay. So now the thing is that you need to subtract the smaller fraction from the larger fraction. And taking a look at these area models, you can see that one third is the smaller fraction, right? So what we're going to do is take a look here. We have a total of three, six, nine out of four, eight, 12 sections, right? So we have a total of nine twelfths minus a total of one, two, three, four, four out of four, eight, twelve. So that's four twelfths. Okay. So now based on the area model though, we're going to take the smaller fraction and subtract, subtract it from the larger fraction. But let's take a look at what we have here. We have a total of one, two, three, four. We have a total of four shaded, right? So that means we need to take away four out of 12 here. So let's do that now. One, 
two, three, four. So that means we're left with one, two, three, four, five. We're left with five out of 12 or five twelfths. And notice nine minus four is five, right? And we kept the denominator of 12. So that's how these fractions work visually. We're using area models. I hope it was helpful.